The Indian Air Force chief has said that the AMCA program is usually known as a fifth generation fighter jet program, but it will come with technologies which will be categorized as sixth generation, hinting that the development cycle will be undertaken in different blocks, and it will be an ongoing process to keep the AMCA technologically relevant in the future. He also stressed the need for AMCA to work in tandem with the ongoing unmanned combat aerial vehicle program, which also requires artificial intelligence. He also added that the DRDO is working on a ground-based laser defense system, but the technology will have to be downsized to be fitted into a fighter jet. Top experts have said that the logical replacement of the MiG-21, MiG-23 and MiG-27 fighter jets would be a reasonably priced medium fighter jet such as the F-21 MiG-35 or Gripen, while the Eurofighter Rafale and F-A-18 would be too expensive. Some of the analysts have put their weight behind the Rafale fighter jet, as they consider that the French manufacturer might lower their quote price, since India has already paid for the Indian specific requirements under the 36 Rafale fighter jet deal. Another senior expert have said that more than one aircraft is likely to meet the MMRCA requirements, which implies that the choice may not be restricted to the American fighter jets. Apart from technology transfers and strategic considerations, the limited finances will also play a significant role in the decision-making process. If the AMCA takes longer time to develop than it is currently projected, then India will eventually go for the Su-57, as Russia will ensure that the fighter jet meets Indian expectations. The RDO has successfully tested a quick reaction surface-to-air system, which has a strike range of 30 km, and has the capability of engaging multiple targets in all-terrain and all-weather conditions. The quick reaction surface-to-air system is also equipped with electronic countermeasures against radar jamming, and can be mounted on a truck, and can be stored in a canister. The RDO has successfully tested the new Pinaka 2 guided rocket system with high precision, which has a range of 75 km, and is integrated with a navigation control and guidance system to improve its end accuracy. The mission achieved all the objectives including enhancing the range accuracy and subsystem functionality. India's indigenously built Tejas light combat aircraft was featured in the Indo-Russian Indra 2019 joint tri-service exercise, and the fighter pilots from both the countries flew the aircraft on the last day of the 10-day exercise. The Russian pilot Nestrov Andri has said that the Tejas was very controlled maneuverable and smooth, and he would again like to fly the fighter jet, maybe in a dogfight with the Su-30.